Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome again to our 15 minute podcast. Asking for your indulgence again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. How do you do it? Press on subscription, the bell comes out, press on the bell, and then you are already a subscriber. What do you stand to lose? Nothing. And what do you stand to gain? What you stand to gain is that the YouTube will always send you a notification on your handset. And then after your busy schedule, then you can watch and follow us on the series. Remember, we started this series of teaching last Monday, uh, titled Designing the Lord's Body. And we took our text from First Corinthians, from First Corinthians 11, 17 to 34. Hallelujah. So I will not be reading the text again because that's what we did throughout of our last Syria on Monday. But I will call our attention to verse 29 and 30, which is the summary of our last Monday episode, which says, if you give no thought, if you give no thought, that is designing now, designing. You give no thought, designing. You give no thought, or worse, don't care about the broken body of the master when you eat and drink you are running the risk of serious consequences serious consequences and you know what you don't want to risk these consequences here are the consequences in verse 30 that's why so many of you even now are listless and sick and others have gone to an early grave now you don't want to risk that you don't want to risk that so uh, the purpose of this episode is to explain this because listen to this if care is not taken the devil will make you see the negative side to a scripture without letting you see the spiritual truth in the scripture so i don't want you to see the negative side of this passage which of course does not really have a negative side but the negative side that you created and which the devil makes you to create hallelujah so i'm going to be showing us the real truth that is hidden in that passage that the devil doesn't want many people to see but the devil wants people to see the negative side now listen to this now, because of this passage of the scriptures, many people don't want to eat communion. Now, if you don't take an antibiotics when you have infection, you stand the risk of dying. But if you take the antibiotics and follow the instruction, even though there might be side effects, you will survive the side effect thereafter and you will stay alive. Now, listen to me. There's more danger in not eating the communion than the danger that the devil has presented to you. That, ah, some people eat the communion, they are, they, are, they, are, they are weak and they are, some are sickly and some even died on time later. So you avoided communion no 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 no. actually the communion listen to this actually the communion is to keep you away from being weak the communion is to make you strong the communion is to make you healthy and the communion is to make you live long do you think i'm saying now now the danger here is not the communion and that is what i'm going to be teaching you okay so to the body of christ in general the message in this passage of the scripture is not that some people are weak sickly and even die because of eating communion according to verse 30 that says for this cause many are weak and sickly among you and many sleep or died on family no 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 the communion is not poisonous food don't allow the devil to make you see that. No. 
God did not give the food so that some people can be sentenced to death by eating it as we interpret it to me in that verse 30. Now, the believer is actually supposed to be strong, healthier, and live long for eating the communion. For eating the communion. Because the communion is actually the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. According to verse 24 and 25. So you see, it's not poisonous food. He says, and when he had given thanks, he break it and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. This is my body. After the same manner also, he took the cup. When he had sobbed, sobbed, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Now that is where the error came in. Because we do it often. We do it often. So now, familiarity has now breed contempt. You see, you don't take antibiotics just for taking sake. You abuse it. The day you now have the infection, the bacteria will kill you because it has developed resistance to that antibiotic. So where the first mistake came in is that this food is eaten very often. In fact, in my own church, we eat it every week. We eat it every week. And if you are not, if you are not careful, you will see communion as if you are just eating donut that you buy on the roadside and then you just eat, you just walk away. So the message is simple. If you have lost the spiritual significance for the body of Christ and the blood of Jesus Christ, then you have equally lost the spiritual benefits for the body of Christ and the blood of Jesus Christ, which was the case here with the Corinthian Christians, according to this statement in that verse 26. What you most solemnly realized, you see, that is what the message is. When you eat communion, when you come to the communion, what do you realize you are doing? Now that is the challenge. Even though the church seldom teach communion, we eat it, but we don't teach it. So it's like, just like me now. I can drink pap, but I don't know how it is prepared. I can eat many food, but I don't even know the process involved. So, 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 if you don't know the process involved, you may eat the food and not thank the people that prepared it because you don't know the stress and the pain they went through. But you see, if you eat food and you know the pain, the process it took to prepare it, when you eat that food, <laughs> when you eat that food, you will thank the people that prepare it. So that's what Paul was writing in that first Corinthians 10 26. He said, What you must solemnly realize is that every time, every time you eat this bread and every time you drink this cup, you reenact. But many people don't know that. We don't know it. We just come to the front, you carry the cup, drink it, carry the bread, eat arm, we just walk away. We walk away. No. <laughs> it's a listen. You've got to realize this. I'm reading for message translation. What you must solemnly realize is that. Did you realize that? Or did you see communion? Like you eat donuts. Like you just walk to, to Mr. Biggs and say, Can I have donuts there? <laughs> communion is not donuts. Listen to me. Every time you eat this bread and every time you drink this cup, you enact in your words and actions the death of the master. You will be drawn back to this meal again and again until the master returns. You must never, never let familiarity breathe contempt. Never. 
If you get to that level, you are finished. Now that is where the problem is. Now listen to me. If you abuse an antibiotics and then you are attacked by the bacteria, you will die. Somebody else will contact the same bacteria, will take the same antibiotics and they will survive. Now that was what was happening to the Corinthian church. Now because they have lost the value, the spiritual benefit of communion. So when they become weak and they become sickly, the communion has lost its value. It has lost its importance that it could not protect them against this attack. So that's why they were weak, they were sick, and they died untimely dead. So, 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 the big problem is familiarity that has bred content. So familiarity has bred content with these Corinthian Christians. So they have lost the spiritual value or importance of the body and the blood of Christ in the communion. If you have abused an antibiotic drug, you may lose your life, except an alternative that the bacteria had not developed resistance against is found for you. This is the same way it was with the Corinthian Christians. Familiarity of how often they eat the bread and drink the blood had bred contempt. And now the healing meal could not heal them when they were weak or sick so much that they even died untimely death because they have become so familiar with the Lord's body and blood because they did not design they did not design the Lord's body according to Paul in according to Paul apostle in that verse 29 for he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh condemnation to himself not designing the Lord's body not designing the lost body so if you design the lost body and you are eating the bread and drinking the blood for serious issue in your life you will not have time to get drunk <laughs> did you see that you don't have time to get drunk with the same wine that stands for the blood of the lord that someone has to help you home from the church service as if you are coming from the beer parlor <laughs> according to paul in that verse 21 you bring in a lot of food from the outside and make pigs of yourselves. Some are left out and go home hungry. Others have to be carried out, too drunk to walk. I can't believe that. Wow. <laughs> this is not looking, this is not looking like a, a healing service. You see, it's not looking like a healing service. This is how much the body and the blood of Jesus has lost his spiritual value in this Corinthian church they could no longer get that spiritual value for the body I mean from the body and the blood any longer if not they are not supposed to be weak sickly and die untimely dead because they were eating the communion every time no they are supposed to be strong, healthy, and live long for eating and drinking communion every time as recommended by the Lord himself to Paul after his death burial and the resurrection in that verse 23 and 20, uh, 23. For I pass on to you what I received from the Lord himself on the night when he, when, when he was betrayed. The Lord Jesus took some bread. Hallelujah. Did you see that? So, for eating the communion every time because the Lord asks us to be doing it very often. The more we eat the communion, the stronger, the heavier, and the longer we will live. The more we eat it. But do you know what? When it has lost its value, then what kill other people in the society also kill believers. But do you see what? 
Do you know what? I've just run out of time right now. So I'll continue from here in our Friday podcast. So as for me here, I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is Lord. I will see you in our Friday podcast. <laughs>